there's no risk of potential damage to the artifact. So that has been one of the biggest key features of this scanner. And it's very unique in that way. We are able to, to use this to meet best practices for museum preservation digitization. We've, we've presented some of those images already at our curatorial committees, um, and they're, they've been highly impressed by it. CPMM uh, preserves and provides access to the culture and history of the Chesapeake Bay region. And we have over 80,000 cataloged artifacts in our collection. Our main use for the Aberon scanner is ship's plans, charts, and maps. Um, these are oversized paper materials, which are typically fragile. Um, they can be brittle, they can be really rolled up tightly, um, and most of the time they're unique. So an original drawing by the person who designed and built the boat, this might be the only copy there is. Um, so eventually the, you know, the master plan is to scan all of our oversized artifacts, um, paper artifacts, so that we don't have to continue to handle them and we want to make sure that we're preserving it past its physical life. Um, in case, you know, something does happen to any of these artifacts, we have them digitized and we are able to review them, um, as well as accessibility. The biggest benefit has been being able to fulfill the backlog of requests. I've had one person that has been waiting three years for his scans and he, you know, everybody is always extremely patient. They understand, I, I, you know, I'll take pictures of what they need, but his plan specifically, what he needs are 99 sheets for one boat. And I, I can't take the time to do that with me and my camera phone, you know? Um, so being able to fulfill these requests that I've been working with these people for so long and trying to get um, trying to get them what they need. Being able to do that has been a really cool benefit, um, and it's 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 been really fun to communicate with them. Like, oh my gosh, we got our scanner, and we're able. You know, I'm working on doing this for you. So um, to be able to do that, I think at at the level that we've wanted to has definitely been the biggest benefit for us. The next image software itself um, and how usable it is, is is huge. Um, overall, it's been pretty intuitive and pretty hands-free. So there's not a lot of like lighting adjustment that we have to do. It's really interesting because with the high-res um, image files, to me, I think they're even better than the originals because I don't need a magnifying glass, right? I don't need to get myself over it and really zoom in, I can just zoom in on the computer. Specifically for us, I mean, that have these paper materials that are used and that are fragile, I would say this is this is gonna be the best digitization software you have, you that is available. Um, if you have the space and you have the funds, you know, this is definitely the scanner to use. Um, and even for, for artwork, if, if they have a, a large collection of art, I would say this is a, a really amazing piece of equipment. So I would definitely recommend.